Before we start, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more video updates. Multicellular cells and animals are made up of tissues that made up tissues and organs. On the other hand, unicellular cells are single-cell organisms. Microorganisms are organisms that can be seen only with the aid of microscope. Microorganisms reproduce rapidly due to its simplest structure and size. So now we're going to differentiate asexual from sexual reproduction of an organism. Reproduction is a process where the offspring or new organism was created from a parent or parents. The two types of reproduction are asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction only involves one parent, there are no gametes or sex cells produced and the offspring are genetically identical to the parent. Sexual reproduction involves two parents, gametes are produced, one from male and one from the female, and the offspring are genetically different from the parents. Kinds of asexual reproduction Asexual reproduction It requires only one parent that produces offspring without fertilization. They are uniform offspring, because the offspring inherit all of their DNA from one parent. They are genetically identical to each other and to their parent. Binary fission, cell division in prokaryotes that forms two genetically identical cells. The DNA is being copied. The cell begins to grow longer, pulling the two copies apart. The cell membrane pinches inward in the middle of the cell. The cell are being split to form two new, uniform, and identical offspring. Examples, bacteria, E. coli, pon, and clitters. Another kind of asexual reproduction is the bottom reproduction. It is a new organism growth by mitosis and cell division on the body of its parent. The bud, or offspring, is identical to the parent. The bud, when large enough, can break off of the parent and live on its own. Offspring may remain attached and form a colony. A good example of this reproduction are yeast, hydra, and cactus. Fragmentation reproduction is a physical split of the organisms into segments. And these segments develop into new organisms. Examples are, worms, echinoder, sponges, and starfish. Another kind of asexual reproduction is vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation, the uniform offspring grow from a part of a parent plant. The parent plant sends out runners. Where the runner touches the ground, roots can grow. A new plant is produced even if the runner is broken apart. Each new plant is uniform and identical to the parent. Examples are strawberries, potatoes, ivy, and crabgrass. The second type of reproduction is the sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is a type of reproduction in which the genetic materials from two different cells combine to a producing offspring. The cells that combine are called sex cells or gametes. Female is egg cell and male is sperm cell. Fertilization happens when an egg cell and a sperm cell join together. A new cell is formed and is called a zygote. Two types of fertilization. The first one is the internal fertilization. Internal fertilization occurs when fertilization takes place inside the body of the female. After internal fertilization there are three ways for the new organism to develop. Oviparity is the release of eggs as soon as they are fully formed, they usually contain a single cell fertilized ovum. Example are hence spiders, snakes, and all birds lay eggs. Ovoviviparity, if the fertilized egg retained inside the female body but the embryo gets its nourishment from the egg yolk. There is no placenta or umbilical cord. Examples are guppy amp bascom sharks. Viviparity is when the embryo develops inside the female embryo and receives nourishment through placenta. Example are human, dog, cats, and other mammals. The second type of fertilization is the external fertilization. External fertilization happens when fertilization occurs outside the female body, like most aquatic animals like fish, amphibians like frogs, salamanders, newts. 
crustaceans like crabs and shrimps, and some insects like mosquitoes and mayflies. Let's do the activity. Let's do learning task number one. Match column A to column B. Learning task number two. Identify the type of asexual reproduction shown on the picture. Write a brief explanation. Number one. Vegetative propagation is defined as the production of new plants from the vegetative plant parts like leaf stem roots of the parent plant. In ginger, the vegetative propagation occurs through the underground stem called rhizome. A rhizome is an underground horizontal stem with stored foods and buds. Number 2. Binary fission, asexual NDSP, reproduction by a separation of the body into two new bodies or two identical daughter cells. In the process of binary fission, an organism duplicates its genetic material. Number 3. Fragmentation is physically split an organism into segment and this segment develop into new organism. Number 4. Spore formation, a type of asexual reproduction where organism reproduce by forming spores. Example is rhizopus. If we keep a moist sliced bread aside for a few days, then the spores of bread mold plant present in air settle and germinate to form new plant. It look like white cottony mass covering bread which later turns black. Number 5. Bottom a new organism is formed from bud which is an outgrowth from the parent. When bud is separated it becomes a new organism. Learning Task 5. Complete the steps in sexual reproduction on animal and plants by arranging the words on the diagram. In animal sexual reproduction, fertilization happens when egg cell and sperm cell unite to produce a fertilized egg called zygote and develop to become embryo and turns into fetus. sexual reproduction in plants. During the pollination, the pollen grains is being transferred from anther to stigma. Once the pollen unite with the ovum fertilization happens. Fertilized egg will be produced which is the zygote and as it develop it will become embryo and turns into fruits or seeds. Learning task number 7. Make a comic strip of your favorite character that explains the advantages and disadvantages of sexual and asexual reproduction. This is just an example comic strip. You make your own comic strip. You may include the advantages and disadvantages found on the screen. That ends our lesson for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more video updates.